I stand before you as one of the Menominee warriors, one of the Menominee elders. As many of you as may know that the Menominee were one of the three tribes in the United States that were terminated. Terminated completely, losing our reservation, losing the federal recognition for any services, health, Sorry. education, and welfare. Yeah. It's important because we also had a movement, the Drums Mill Movement, Determinist Rights and Unity of Menominees, to fight the government to be restored and gain our land back. It took many years, but it was successful. But it took people. It took peace. Not conflict, physical conflict, oh, you're gonna sit on this side? but people in peace. So when I come to this gathering, now as an elder, back then I was a very, very young man just getting out of military service. And as a young man, understanding coming home from the military and realizing that the key word being fight for free freedom, liberty, and justice for all. And we began to realize this is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> There's no equality. There's no equal rights. <laughs> Indian people have been treated as second-class citizens oh, no. since the coming of Columbus. So when I see this gathering today, and as the days I've been here, when I see this, my heart bleeds with emotion. I'm 68 years old, and I'm going to be happy when I go to the other world and realize that there's people that still fight for what is right. The land, the air, the water, the necessities of life. So again, we stand with Standing Rock. We stand with the tribes united to fight this great corporate enemy. En en enemy in terms of destroying our natural resources. And we all know that, where are you gonna go next? Once the earth is destroyed, where are they gonna go? We are still gonna be here. I just wanna tell you a short, real short story. When we were restored back, or gonna be restored back to the Menominee Reservation, we were given our, our trust status back as Indian people in 1973. Many of us returning home from the military and realizing that this was like a shell game. They ended up taking 17,000 acres and not giving it back at restoration. By taking that property, not giving our hospital, not giving our schools back as warriors, we took over the Election Brothers, the Vichyet, a monastery. There was 49 original warriors that entered this facility. We were heavily armed, heavily armed and trained by the very government oppressor. We faced 750 local and state police, 350 state patrol. The National Guard moved in. There was heavy gunfire every single night. But at the same time, we knew no better. But in that era of time, that was the only way to speak and make our position known. Today, with the technology, the mass communication, and we know that the blackout, the media blackout has fallen upon us. The social media played a significant role. 
as to why we are here today to support the tribes that are in need of warriors. We don't need guns today. All we need is people. People are the strength. And again, my heart bleeds when I see so many tribes coming in and filtering through the camp, talking with different tribes, and listening to all the other problems that tribes have, and realizing that we're all in the same situation of fighting that government. So again, nominees have come through over the last three or four weeks, going back, coming out, and we are ready. We are ready to come physically support the effort to save the water. And with that, I just want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart that we have young warriors today. And I hear, when I hear in the evening time and listen to these young ladies and women get up and speak, there's a new era in Indian country. We have the women warriors of today. And as a male, I wouldn't want to tangle with some of you. <laughs> so with that, we have a new era in Indian country that everybody is on the same page. Everybody understands their role in life. Some may not have grown up with the culture and traditions that have been handed down, but many are willing to learn and make it a part of their life. For, for that, I want to just take a minute of silence for our ancestors that we follow. And I want to, again, my wedding to those warriors that brought us to today. Now I would ask you for a moment of silence.